Hello, hello, my name is Shane Nindsay, and thank you so much for stopping by on my video today. You guys, it's been a while since I've made a video. I thought I would hop on here and share with you guys some new makeup goodies that I've purchased myself, some things that were sent to me. Let's go ahead and just dive in and get this video started. I'm beyond excited to be sitting with you guys. The last video I made was talking about my engagement. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. I've just been slowly, slowly kind of prepping for like the wedding and kind of just trying to figure out everything. I don't know when I'm getting married. I don't have any venue idea. I am seriously in the very, very beginning stages of getting this started. Do not worry, I will be letting you all know exactly what is going on, so don't fret. You guys will be coming with me on this journey. I actually did a TikTok. My eyebrows look a little wonky. I was doing a whole video on the Mad Love Eyebrow Sedam, so my eyebrow shapes are a little, like this one's a little bit straighter than that one, but you guys, I'm gonna be using this today as well. Kinda of just need to figure out how this product works and everything, but. I did get this. I bought this myself. I'm gonna go ahead and put some primer on actually. I went ahead and purchased the Mini Melt Cooling Face Primer. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've used this once before and I'm not really the biggest fan of it. It looks the same here but i really didn't feel like it helped my makeup stay on that well it felt oily to me in comparison to the milk makeup one maybe i used too much i personally didn't like it so i'm gonna put that on to kind of let it set into my face while i'm doing the rest of my makeup so this is one of the first things that i purchased but honestly after using it once i'm not really the biggest fan. While we're on the subject of skincare, primer, all that kind of stuff, Clarins actually sent this over to me, so thank you to them for sending this over. This is the After Sun Soothing After Balm. I have gone through a crap ton of this. If you guys know, I just got back from Florida a couple weeks ago, and this stuff saved my skin. I got super burned on my second day. I thought I put enough sunscreen on my back, but I ended up falling asleep on my stomach like this, and it fried my back. You're supposed to apply it after sun exposure, and it helps to rehydrate and nourish and soothe the skin. I definitely had like no pain or anything. It was very bright red. It didn't really hurt as bad as I think it could have because I was using this product. This came in clutch. It really worked. I've been using this like crazy, and it's even just a nice, lotion it smells super good i'll have it linked down below as well i have a couple of eyeshadow products to talk about sigma sent over their collaboration with beauty bird they came out with a whole brush collection so here's the bag and then there's a whole like brush case that comes with it beauty bird is a youtuber she is so sweet so talented so here are her eye brushes and then their whole there's a whole face brush set here. So they sent over all of the brushes and then they relaunched her Dream palette. I actually swatched this in comparison to her original one and this one is a little bit better. I have her original one here. The packaging is a little bit different. This one has a little bit of like a textured embossment to it where the original one does not. The eyeshadow I want to use today is actually from Saints Angel Sinners. This is a small indie brand. I am so thankful. Thank you so much for sending this over to me. She curated this palette. It's called the Kindness Palette Inspired by Mother Teresa. You guys, I've been super into indie makeup and supporting smaller brands. Okay. I, hope I did a whole like unboxing on my Instagram reels. I've been super active on Instagram and TikTok, so follow me on both of those. Okay, can we just like look at how gorgeous this is? <gasps> I cannot wait to put this on my eyeballs. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime and everything and then I'll be right back. Here's the eyeshadow look I came up with, was just messing around a little bit. So let's dive in. I went ahead and used the new Sigma brushes as well. These are all permanent brushes, they're not new. They just have this beautiful marbled detailing and rose gold ferrule on them. So again, super gorgeous brushes. I'll have everything linked down below. 
I'm first going to go in with the shade Peace. This one is a little bit light for me. And I'm just going to be using this as like my transition shade. The shadows are very, very soft that I'm noticing, but they're really nice. Next, I'm going in with a, oh, the first brush I used was, I don't have the names on it at all. I think this one's like an E25. Yeah, for some reason, it doesn't have the numbers of the brushes on this, but I believe this one's an E25. It looks very similar. I'm going to go in with the shade Friendship. And this is going to be going in my crease, dabbing that in. And I brought that pretty far down into my inner corner and I'm just like winging it out. And then taking the other side of the brush, I'm going with the shade Compassion. And then I'm blending that out. I'm taking my P. Louise base and a small brush. I'm going to be cutting out the crease a little bit. I'm just going to place this down look up and then it creates that line for you. I didn't bother removing anything with makeup remover so this base isn't perfectly white but it's what we're going with right now. The shimmers in this palette are gorgeous so I'm going in with the shade Goodness and this one is so soft and pigmented. I'm just putting that all over the lid where I put the P. Louise base. And then I tried going in with the shade Give, which is that sparkly white, but this shade wasn't very pigmented at all. I dab that in the center of my lid. You can't really see it that well. And then with another small brush, I'm going in with the shade Patience, which is a brown. And this is going on the outer corner. Winging that out a little bit. And then I took some micellar water on a Q-tip and I cleaned up the outer edge. I'll just follow like that. And there we go. There's the eyeshadow. I got two different foundations actually recently and these were both sent to me. This is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation and then this is the YSL Bare Look Tint. Which one should I test out? Let's try this YSL Tint. Hopefully the shade matches me okay. This one's in the shade NU10. Oh yeah, hopefully this will match me okay too. And I've got a Juno & Co. sponge here. I just have a little bit of like concealer on it. Ooh, this is heavily scented. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this actually has more coverage than I was expecting it to. It is a little bit on the orangey side. It doesn't look too, too bad, but it is a little bit orange. Let's go in with the Ilia True Skin Foundation. This one's in the shade Selena. Oh, okay. This one's like a straight up liquid. It's like a straight up liquid. Okay. It's a little bit lighter too. I bought a darker shade of the Hard Candy Glamouflage Full Coverage Concealer. This one's in the shade Warm Light. Brighten These foundations definitely feel hella oily. Oh my gosh, and it's making the concealer like super oily as well. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put my powder on and I'll be right back. All right, I totally forgot that I bought the e.l.f. cream bronzer and I set my face so hopefully this will look okay on top. I got mine in the shade Honey Drip and I've tried this a couple times and it blends out really, really nicely which I was a happy about. I'm gonna use a Sigma um, P86. Do my brush in there. This shade I just think is not gonna work, like you can barely see it. I also picked up the Milani Baked Blush. This one's in the shade Dulce Pink. I've heard great things about these blushes. I think this one is a little too like shimmery and light for me right now. I'm not the biggest fan. It's a really pretty blush, but it's just a bit shimmery for 
my personal preference. Going with my Milani bronzer, which I really like. And then here's the one thing I'm sure you guys are all excited about. I picked up the new Kylie products. Oh my gosh, here they are. I already got the packaging a little bit dirty. This is the Kylighter Pressed Illuminating Powder. It says Kylie all in there. And then I also got her Kylie, the Kylie Lip Kit. So let's dive in and put this on. I've tried this already. And I didn't think it was that great. Like, I don't really see much. Or it's more of like a subtle highlight where I personally like a beaming highlight. Like, it's a little subtle for me. And a little hard. Like, it's pressed a little hard. But, I mean, it swatches beautifully. That's that. I wanted to show you guys that I picked that up as well. I'm sure you're dying to see the eyebrow products as well. As I poke my eye. It comes with like this, uh, oh my gosh, I'm so clumsy. It, it got on my finger, but it's like this little brow stamp. And then it comes with, I think four different stencils, five different stencils here to match, I guess the shape that you want. I did a first impression on my TikTok see how it goes. I got mine in the shade brunette. Not bad at all. Oh no! <laughs> Let me clean that up. I went ahead and put the Kylie lip liner on. My lip liner job is not good, don't judge. I've got Lamnetic lashes on. They're a little wonky, they're not quite staying down. Let's put the liquid lipstick on. Found this to be very comfortable. I've worn this a couple times. Again, my lipstick job is not the best. But here is the completed makeup look. What do we think? A couple other things I did not put on my face, but I bought recently. I got the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Primer. I can't remember. I think I used this in a TikTok as well. Again, if you guys haven't been following me on Instagram and TikTok, I've been uploading a lot more tutorials on there. So check it out. So I got that. I got this new Essence dancing green eyeshadow palette they came up with a bunch of these mini eyeshadow palettes i have not swatched this yet so let's swatch it there are the swatches there the lightest one is a little not very pigmented but they have a bunch of different colors so i picked this up from ulta i also got a couple of the new wet n wild blushes so this is a new one or this one i already used in a tutorial this is the Cherry Blush Palette. It smells just like cherry, smells super good. And then I also got the Limited Edition Passion Session Highlight and Blush Combination. So there's the highlight and the blush, super pretty. Oh, there we go, can you see them there? And this one smells so good as well, got that. Yeah, I think that's everything that I've purchased or received lately. Let me know if you guys like this where I showed you what I purchased and then I put it on my face or stuff that was sent to me or whatever and then I put it on my face. Let me know if you guys liked it. You guys know I got my Dunkin' Donuts. So there's that. I also moved my filming location. I have the same background and everything, but I am in a different part of my house. So if it is a little bit more echoey, that is why I'm out where I have hardwood floors and stuff. Moved my filming area. I have a dedicated like cat room and editing room now. And this is out like in my living room area. So if you guys didn't follow my weekly vlogs, I showed you kind of what it looked like beforehand and everything. Um, and yeah, so check that out as well. Thank you all so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye!